Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. Beautiful conditions out there this evening, not a cloud around, and that's going to be the story if you do have some plans to take you out this evening. A little cool out there, but we're not looking at any precipitation. Let's take you up to Mahia uh, at this uh, hour, and skies are mainly clear. This is our live Centex roof system sky tracker. It's in top of the, uh, the uh, Civic Center. I'll get it out in Mahia, showing you some beautiful weather. It is 70 degrees. Our wind very light uh, at this hour, and again, uh, I don't expect any clouds until maybe about midnight or so. It is 68 degrees in Waco, 70 Temple, 71 in Queen. Clear skies in Gatesville, 70, and temperatures down in the Brazos Valley, maybe just a little bit warmer. The current temperature in Brenham, right at 73 degrees. Here's our satellite and radar, nothing going on. So high and dry weather. You're safe if you're doing anything outside this evening. We're watching a storm system that's off to the west right now. That'll eventually start to pull in our direction here uh, over the next 12 hours, and it'll kind of team up with that low-level jet that kicks in early in the morning and bring us some clouds and some moisture from time to time. Take a look though at the tropics. You just uh, had a story. We just had a story there about Hurricane Raphael. The very latest now on it. It did uh, it hit the western part of Cuba as a category three. Now it's starting to kind of slide a little bit farther back uh, into the Gulf as it moves off to the northwest at 13 miles per hour. Sustained winds at uh, 105 miles an hour. So category two hurricane and it's still a very, very powerful hurricane. We'll watch the movement as it uh, kind of takes more of a west, westerly track here, and then it begins to kind of slow down just a little bit. This is at 6 o'clock in the evening on Monday, but notice how it slows down and the cone of uncertainty gets a little bit wider right now. That's because it's encountering some cooler water, which uh, doesn't help out this hurricane, and it's also running into some wind shear. Those uh, are the winds aloft that are going in a different direction, and they're pretty strong, kind of tearing apart the movement and right now the hurricane. So we'll watch that very, very closely. That's why it's almost turning stationary here by the start of next week. But our weather this evening looking good. Clear skies this evening. Clouds starting to roll in. And like I said, that low level jet will start to kick in here overnight. And by tomorrow morning, mainly cloudy skies. Some spotty showers here and there. So don't be surprised on your way to work or school if you see a shower or two. It's not going to be severe as we hit lunch. Guess what? Same story here across the area. By late in the afternoon, we're going to watch our little upper level disturbance begin to move in. That could produce some uh, showers and some thunderstorms to the west of our area. But watch where these go. They go to the northeast here. So we're still talking about some spotty showers here and there across our area. And then on Friday, another wave of showers and storms gets closer. I do think we might see some uh, lightning out there, which could affect Friday night football game. So stay tuned for that. It's still uh, 48 hours away and a lot could happen, but there's that chance. Tonight's forecast, increasing clouds overnight, 20% chance of a shower or two. I think after three o'clock in the morning, we drop to 57 and then tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a 50% chance of showers in the morning, maybe a thunderstorm uh, added in as we hit the afternoon, 75 degrees will be the high. Here's your long range, 10 day forecast, 80% chance on Friday. That's the front that moves through. Weekend looks pretty nice. 71 degrees on Saturday, 76 on Sunday. Monday, of course, is Veterans Day. Sunshine, 78, and there's a stronger front that moves in on Wednesday. That should kind of clear us out here and drop us into the 60s and lower 70s by the end of next week. Nighttime lows will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s. And then down toward Bryan and College Station, 60% chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow. A little bit better chance by Friday into early Saturday. Weekend has looked bad. Once again, next week we'll start off kind of warm, Adam. But by the end of the week, back down into the 60s for highs, lows in the 40s and 50s.